Hey guys, it is a season of love and I'm right here at the movie premiere of Before Valentine. A great one produced by Nicole Kalu. This movie promises to be an amazing, and I mean an amazing one. The likes of Shafi Bello is in it, the likes of Uche Montana in it, and many other amazing and beautiful faces in this amazing movie. Nigeria is here to bring you great content and full gist of what went down for tonight's movie premiere. My name is Princess Peters and stay glued to Nigeria action. But come with me guys while we have fun tonight. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Why don't we start to build something? Not a bad idea. Heavenly Father, I know that I have not come to you in a while. <sighs> Ladies, love to be chased. There is the chase, and then there's what you're doing. Yeah, how are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? Amazing. From the air down to the shoes, you look stunning. Okay, thank you so much. Please introduce yourself. I'm Nikki Fondu. And uh, I played the role of Risa in the movie, the crazy wife, that's all I can say about it. <laughs> you look innocent and calm, yeah. How were you able to pull out the crazy wife? The director made me crazy, she put it out. Amazing cast, amazing crew. I loved it. That's my first time working with the director and I loved it. Uh, this movie is a rom-cam. Uh, it just reminds us that love does end up winning. and. You never give up on true love, ever. No matter what happens, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, and you're gonna feel so good and happy about it. Um, I'm expecting to laugh a bit and you know just enjoy myself. Um, there's always this thing about seeing the movie for the first time. So yeah. Embarrassing the entire male community, man. Guy, you have got to stop. We're not interested in your fake panda. Out of you, I'm new fake pass. Your hair. Fake. Your eyelashes, fake. Your nose, fake. The way you got it for chest, you still fake, fake. How you doing tonight? I'm fabulous. You look amazing and excited. You think I am excited. So tell me why you're excited tonight. Girl, we put in so much work in this film. Lots of challenges and the fact that we're here today, it's enough to be excited about. Okay, yeah. please introduce yourself properly. Okay, I'm Uche Montana and I'm an actress. Excellent. So down to this movie, what's that one thing that excited you the most while shooting it for two months? Oh, um, it was very different from what I would usually do. And what excited what excited me about the film was how we were all willing to be on this together, bring out the best in each other. We had the best director, had the best producer. So it wasn't more like it was more like fun as opposed to work, even if there was a lot of work put in. Yeah, so yeah. Tell me, what's that one thing that got to you when you read the script for this movie? Um, I think it's the whole um clash of uh, characters that are very unique and dis distinct yeah everyone is very distinct you don't see two persons acting or sounding the same way i liked and i like that it was i think it's the first script i've ever read that it is in a salon and my character most especially is effeminate philo so i i was excited to try my hands on something new i, I can't wait to see how it all comes together Honestly. Do you have plans for tomorrow or do you want me to hook you up? Thank you, darling, but I have a girlfriend. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I as in a girl? A real girl? No, as in an actual real goat. I'm the one thing your record label is missing out on. Oh, really? What's that one thing you expect from this movie? Love, lots of love. I, want, I just want that feeling where you're, you know, when you're watching a movie and you're living through them. So I want to feel what they feel, like if there's a lot of love. Yeah. What's your definition of love? Uh, there is no definition of love. Uh, it's it's a feeling that you can't describe. The minute you can't describe it, then it's not love. But there's one thing that's uh, clear, uh, and that is you have strong feelings towards someone and you always want to be around that person for reasons you can't explain. When you saw the trailer of this movie, what came to your mind? Uh -uh. When did they start doing movie for before Valentine? Uh, first of all, it's 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 first in Nigeria. Um, secondly, it's produced by my wife. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Thirdly, um, it just it just made me happy watching the trailer. I mean, if 
if I wasn't connected to um, the producer of the movie, uh, it would, I would still have the same feeling I had when I saw the trailer. I was really excited. It was just a happy trailer, you know, um, and great cast at the same yes, time, yes. you know, and uh, you just want to see it. Down to this movie before Valentine's Day, tell me what's that one thing that came to your mind while producing this movie? Will it ever end? <laughs> Yeah, it seemed like it wasn't going to end. Like every day it seemed like there was a new hurdle to surmount. But in the end, when it finished, I was like, so, like, it's in the can, we're done. Like, this was going to come to the cinema. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Okay, so tell me, down to the script of this movie, was there any point you removed anything at all? Of course. In fact, even when we finished filming, the film was like two and a half hours long. And I was like, what? It's a rom-com. So we yanked a couple of scenes, but... Um, I think one of the things that I removed that I didn't was like there was this scene where Venita was supposed to swear so she's like so Valentine's Day is just uh, uh, I think it was like a weak excuse for exchanging gifts and cheap and then in the end I looked at it and I was like <laughs> but then we changed it to a more PG PG line <laughs> Because we wanted, we didn't want the ratings to be too high. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Why don't we start to build something? Not a bad idea. Heavenly Father, I know that I have not come to you in a while. <sighs> Ladies love to be chased. There is the chase. And then there's what you're doing. You're embarrassing the entire male community, man. Guy, you have got to stop. We're not interested in your fake panda. Out of you and me, who fake pass? Your hair, fake. Your eyelashes, fake. Your nose, fake. The way you got it for chest, it's still fake, fake, fake. You have a man. I'm asking for a friend. I'm just saying, if tomorrow's day doesn't work out, we have backup. I'll be your Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> Master, slow down now. Still need to put a bit of pressure on them, you know, just so they rise to the occasion. When people like us are talking, I beg, don't involve yourself. What does that mean? Don't act like you don't know that there's so many women out there that would kill to have a man like a husband. Uh, no, I will not kill you. I will not kill in the name of Jesus. Do you have plans for tomorrow or do you want me to hook you up? Thank you, darling, but I have a girlfriend. <laughs> Yes, I'm sorry. I as in a girl, a real girl. No, as in an actual real goat. I'm the one thing your record label is missing out on. Oh, really? Yeah, hello? <laughs> your phone did not even ring. Yeah. As soon as I give him some of my sugar, baby, <laughs> he'll be addicted. Sugar! <laughs> few women, Christo buy singlet and boxers for the husband on Valentine. Change, ooh, change.